Is it the right time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into Meta. We initially shared a report on our website on Tuesday, January 16, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. It's crucial not to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since December 7, 2023, our system has identified Meta as a buy candidate, with a score of 3.08. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. If you followed our analysis, you would have seen an impressive gain of 12.51% since we first listed Meta as a buy candidate 26 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.48% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend, both in the short and long term. Based on the three-month trend, there is a potential 18.11% change in the stock's value over the next three months. This implies a possible return ranging from 9.06% to 20.67%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 112.38% change in the stock's value over the next year, with a potential return between 91.2% and 116.9%. In other words, the price could range from $702.57 to $797.03 after one year. Today's update on Meta brings us a weaker technical forecast as the stock is downgraded to a buy candidate. Yesterday, the Meta stock price experienced a decrease of 1.88% from $374.49 to $367.46. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 2.28%, ranging from a low of $367.24 to a high of $375.61. Over the course of this period, the price has been oscillating, resulting in a 3.81% gain over the past two weeks. It's worth noting that the trading volume declined alongside the stock, which can be seen as a positive sign since volume typically follows the stock. On the last day, trading volume decreased by 3 million shares, with a total of 15 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $5.59 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, we can see that the highest stock price recorded was $377.06, while the lowest was $132.14. Currently, the price is 2.55%, or $9.60, below the 52-week high and 4.39%, or $16.87, below the all-time high on September 1, 2021, when it reached $384.33. Analyst Ratings on Monday, January 8, 2024, Wedbush gave Meta an outperform grade with a hold action. On Monday, January 8, 2024, Raymond James gave Meta a strong buy grade with a hold action. On Monday, November 20, 2023, B. Riley Securities gave Meta a neutral grade with a hold action. On Monday, November 20, 2023, Wells Fargo gave Meta an equal weight grade with a hold action. On Monday, November 20, 2023, Wedbush gave Meta an outperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given the stock of Meta a general rating of buy. They highly recommend the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book ratio as a strong buy as well. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. In this video, we'll be discussing the signals identified for Meta stock. The Meta stock has received by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast. Additionally, there is a general buy signal based on the relationship between these two signals, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. 
In case of price corrections, the stock is expected to find support at $364.30 and $343.95. However, if the stock falls below these levels, sell signals will be issued. It's important to note that some negative signals have also been generated, which may have an impact on the near short-term development. On Friday, January 12, 2024, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 1.88%. The trend suggests that further decline is likely until a new bottom pivot is identified. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently indicating a sell signal. It's worth noting that the volume of trading decreased along with the price during the last trading day, which reduces the overall risk as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator suggests a sell signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal two days ago. Bollinger bands show a buy signal two days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal eight days ago. The long-term moving average suggests a buy signal 27 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 48 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short-term moving average shows a buy signal 26 days ago. The long-term moving average suggests a buy signal 54 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 248 days ago. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Today, we're going to talk about support, risk, and stop loss for the stock of Meta. When it comes to support, there are a couple of important levels to keep in mind. Just below today's level, we have accumulated volume support at $334.92 and $299.53. Support levels are crucial because if they are broken, the stock may fall to the next support level. So, in the case of Meta, if the current support at $334.92 is broken, the next support levels to watch out for are $299.53 and $288.35. It's important to understand the risk involved when a stock is testing a support level. In this situation, there is a natural risk because if the support is broken, the stock's price may decline further. However, it's worth noting that Meta has average movements during the day and a good trading volume, which means the risk is considered to be medium. Let's take a look at the stock's recent volatility. In the last day, Meta had a price range of $8.37 between its high and low, which accounts for a 2.28% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.47%. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for Meta, let's start by going over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is a significant indicator that measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio is considered to be within the normal range, which is often observed in businesses with established track records or stable revenues. Now, moving on to other news. The earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is scheduled to be released on February 7, 2024. According to analysts' consensus estimates, the expected earnings per share for this quarter are $4.75. It's important to keep a close eye on these numbers, as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Today, let's dive into some potential day trading levels for Meta. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta stands at $369.67. For those who don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering entering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be an opportune level to consider for swing trading. On the flip side, Meta encounters its initial support level at $334.92. If this support level holds, it could present a promising entry point, with the expectation of a rebound in price. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Meta is buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider trades involve Zuckerberg Mark, who bought and sold a total of 18,855 shares or options in the company.
After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power ratio to be negative at minus 35.130. In total, insiders purchased 67,104 shares and sold 140,539 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $351.02, which represents a decrease of 4.47%. This stock exhibits moderate daily movements, which translates to a medium level of risk for investors. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was observed just one day ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several positive short-term signals and a generally good trend for Meta stock. This suggests that the current level may present a buying opportunity. However, we have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a strong buy to a buy candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture since our last evaluation. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price of Meta stock is undervalued. Looking ahead, for trading on Wednesday, January 17th, we anticipate that Meta stock will open up $2.64 and commence trading at $370.10. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. Therefore, it's advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to our current view of the stock. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so please share your agreements or disagreements in the comments below. And don't forget to let us know your target for the stock. We appreciate your support, so remember to like and subscribe. We hope you have a successful trading experience and a beautiful day. Best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.